In the late spring of 1765, Dr. John Morgan, a young ex-army surgeon with European education, delivered a series of compelling lectures in Philadelphia. His fervent speeches advocated for a significant development, the establishment of medical education within the burgeoning American colonies. These lectures, later immortalized in a publication titled, A Discourse Upon the Institution of Medical Schools in America, marked the seminal moment in the birth of America's first medical school, known today as the Perelman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. Prior to this pivotal moment, medical education in America was largely informal, with practitioners lacking modern medical knowledge and techniques. Dr. Morgan, alongside his colleague Dr. William Shippen Jr., had discussed the idea of an American medical school while studying medicine in Scotland. Dr. Morgan took the initiative upon his return to Philadelphia, presenting the concept to the College of Philadelphia in 1765 and receiving their endorsement. Joined by Dr. Shippen Jr. and Dr. Adam Kuhn, he formed the pioneering faculty of the new medical school. The curriculum of the fledgling institution mirrored that of esteemed European medical schools, covering essential subjects such as anatomy, surgery, chemistry, and pharmacology. The inaugural class of students commenced their studies in the fall of 1765, marking the beginning of a transformative journey. Despite facing formidable challenges, including the upheaval of the American Revolution and internal discord among its founders, the medical school persevered. By 1791, it had become an integral part of the University of Pennsylvania, solidifying its place in American medical education history.